In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use Genesis Plus GX on your homebrewed wheat. All you need for this tutorial is your SD card and your already homebrewed wheat. If you haven't homebrewed it already, check the link in the description for a whole homebrew playlist on the wheat. Genesis Plus is a homebrew emulator that can play Sega CD games, Genesis games, Master System, and SG-1000 games. It's like a Sega all-in-one, and we're going to install it onto our Wii today. So getting right into it, if you click on the link in the description, it should take you to this Genesis Plus Wii Brew page. Now here, you can read all about the Emily emulator. If you're going to be using it a lot, you might as well read up on it. You can see which controls, the menu controls, file selector, uh, which controllers you can use and all sorts of stuff like that scroll back to the top just go to the right side and click download it'll take you to this page and just click on gen plus gx 1.7.5 and it should download a winrar file you will need an extraction software i use winrar it's free but once it downloads just open up that file and then also open up the i'm using a usb drive for mine you might be using an sd card so just open up where it has your apps now the pdf the text files they aren't necessary but it doesn't harm anyone if you put it on your sd card or usb drive um, you can read up on the history of fixes um, you can see what it's all about the en enhanced port of genesis plus uh, sg1000 uh, game gear games so i'm just going to highlight everything and just drag it onto my usb drive and once that's transferred over, go into your apps and just double check that you have the Gen Plus GX app with these three files. Now the next step, instead of creating the folder ourselves, we're gonna put our USB drive or SD card into the Wii and we'll run the emulator. That way the folder on the root of your SD card will uh, have what we need. So let's just go ahead and do that quick. So you should find it in your homebrew channel. Just click on Genesis Plus GX and load it up. Just press A. Sometimes it takes a little longer to load the first time. But now that we are in it, just go ahead and exit. Go to the Wii menu and then take out your SD card or USB drive and I'll meet you back on the computer. And back on the computer, open up your USB drive or SD card and you should see on the root of your SD card, Gen Plus. And it's gonna have all of these folders. So there's still one that we need, so right click and create a new folder and just call it ROMs. This is where we're going to store our games. And once you create your ROMs folder, just open it up and drag whatever ROMs you have backed up. I can't show you how to get them in this video, you have to figure that out on your own. But just place all your ROMs in here, I have a .bin and .md, both of these formats work. But once you have your ROMs on there, we're ready to go onto the Wii and play our games. So in the future, I'm also going to show you how to get the Gen Plus channel. So subscribe and stay tuned for that video. But for this one, we'll go to the Homebrew channel. We've already done this. And once you're in the Homebrew channel, just go into your Genesis Plus GX, load it up. Once you get to the disclaimer, just click A. And before we start our game, we're going to click Options and go to the menu and just make sure that your ROM load device is the one you're using and then go down and make sure the save device is also FAT is just the USB drive it's formatted as FAT32 so make sure these are set to uh, either your SD card or USB drive wherever your files are and then press B you can go to controls you can add a second player here but press B press B again and just if you want to play your game go to load game uh, click on Mega Drive and they should show up. If they're not showing up and it's showing this instead, just go to where you put the ROMs. So we went to Gen Plus, ROMs, and here they are. Now you see all these different folders. You can set up your SD card or USB drive to have separate folders for the games for different consoles, but they can all go into the ROMs folder and you can pull them up anyway. So let's test out the game. I believe you can also use a classic controller or the nunchuck, but you'll have to walk, you'll have to go look at the Weebrew page that I linked 
in order to see the specifics. But now we're playing Sonic. And also, in the future, if you want to learn how to make a channel for this game, uh, I'll have a video coming out on that, so subscribe and keep your, eye, keep your eye out on that. But anyways, hope you enjoyed, hope this helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.